So you've had an MRI or a CT scan that suggests that you have degenerative changes of the spine, been told you have a bulging disc or something along the likes. Is this a death sentence? In this video, I'm going to give you clear-cut evidence of the truth behind those statements. Hey friends, it's Mike with Total Physical Therapy and today we are discussing whether or not the notion of degenerative changes and disc bulges of the spine are an absolute death sentence and a guarantee as to why you have symptoms. So if we explore this concept, we're going to expand off of a previous video that I talked about whether or not disc herniation could spontaneously resorb. Now, in today's video, I'm going to take you down a journey of a couple uh, articles. Starting in an article from 2014 out of the American Journal of Neuroradiology. Now in this study, they looked at five common spinal pathologies. Number one, they looked at facet degeneration, otherwise known as degenerative joint disease or osteoarthritis of the spine. Furthermore, they looked at disc degeneration, commonly referred to as degenerative disc disease. They looked at disc bulges as well as disc protrusions. And finally, they looked at a condition called spondylolisthesis. Now, in the medical community, we would look at all five of these conditions as conditions that need to be addressed in one shape, form, fashion. Now, they looked at the per percent occurrence over a 60-year age window from individuals in their 20s all the way up to individuals in their 80s. And what they found was that every single one of those five conditions increased in their percent of the population. Simply put, as we age, the probability of those conditions happening are going to increase. Now specifically, they showed that disc degeneration increased in individuals in their 20s from a prevalence of about 38% all the way up to 95% occurrence in individuals in their 80s. So again, this exponential rapid increase in the probability that individuals would have those conditions uh, occurred over that span of uh, the age 20 to the age of 80 plus. Again, as we age, these conditions have greater probability of occurring. Now, one thing that I haven't told you about this study was the title of the study. The title of this study was the percent of abnormal findings on a lumbar spine MRI and CT image in healthy, pain-free subjects. You got it. Despite all of those conditions exponentially increasing their probabilities as we age, this study actually showed that the percent of abnormal findings on these images were indeed gathered from pain-free asymptomatic individuals. Now we're going to take this concept and look at a couple other studies. Looking at a study from 2015 by Nakashima and colleagues, they looked at disc bulges seen on MRIs in over 1,200 subjects that were shown to be pain-free, healthy, asymptomatic patients. Now they showed that 80% of these subjects in their 30s or later had the presence of these disc bulges. So again, reiterating that fact from the other study that the majority of individuals at, as we uh, age, as we grow older, are going to have spinal abnormalities. A third study in 2013 by Campbell and colleagues showed that degenerative changes and bulges in also increased exponentially over one's lifetime. But again, this study was showing the presence of these in asymptomatic individuals. So the take home message from this, as we've been preaching for years now, is the fact that you should not and you cannot base your symptoms simply off of these imaging studies. A lot of individuals find their way into our offices and they simply ask um, or they state rather that they don't understand why they're in physical therapy because we don't have an image to be able to know what's wrong. And now the reality is, is that with a good trained clinician these spinal pathologies or spinal complications can be identified through a thorough examination. Oftentimes, uh, imaging studies merely reiterate what I've already found in an examination, and you're going to find that with good, trained, quality clinicians. 
Furthermore, a lot of insurance companies also realize this fact and they are denying these imaging studies prior to uh, having conservative physical therapy. And it's all based off of this notion that we are going to have abnormal findings of the spine in a majority of sources. Now there are also some things that we're identifying through a good thorough examination where the red flags are raised. Our eyebrows go up, our antennas are wide alert for the possibility of things that are present that are beyond our scope that would suggest and indicate a deeper workup. So I hope from this video you take home one major concept. We're going to plot a graph. And on this graph, along the bottom axis here, we're going to place age. And on the y-axis, we're going to say the percent of the population with a given condition. Let's just use one condition and let's talk about uh, disc bulges. So as we age, we do know that we are going to have a rise and a very sharp rise towards 100% of the population that will have a bulging disc in the spine. Again, as we get older, that is going to become more likely. Now, if I was to take a separate color and I was to say change this axis and say this is the percent of the population that will have persistent chronic back pain, it too will rise. But it will rise at a much much slower rate than the percent of the population that actually has one of these spinal complications. So again, thumbs up if you are happy to understand now that despite the fact that you have been given imaging that suggests that you have some type of, some type of uh, skeletal or other soft tissue problem of the spine, it does not guarantee that is the reason for your symptoms. Because as in this video and in these studies that we've reviewed, the truth of the matter is, is that the presence of these spinal conditions does not guarantee the presence of symptoms. So if you have any further questions about this subject matter, just comment down below. Love answering these questions and digging into deeper details of all of this. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.